Hello there guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you the new Office 2013. So in this video I'm going to be doing a quick overview of each of the programs in Office 2013. In this uh, tutorial I'm showing you in Windows 7 uh, Office 2013 Professional Plus This is a 32 bit copy and the reason I chose Professional Plus is just to show you all the features that you can get with Office 2013 So to start off we're going to have a look at Access Obviously you can see that the icons are different, if we go into Access and we are prompted to activate Office, now this is slightly different, um, you have to enter your email address which your product ID is tied to or you can enter a product key instead by clicking there and once it loads the feature templates, there we go, um, you can enter your 25 characters uh, product key so if we close that for now, we'll run. now as you can see we've got um, different templates that we can choose for access. Uh, we have custom web app, blank database, asset, contacts, issue, project, management, desktop contacts and such like. Now if we go into the blank desktop database, we can see that it appears just there. Or we can cl uh, click create just there. And when it loads, there we go. You can see this is similar to that of Office 2010. Now if we pop into the design view, uh, there we go. We can see that we've got the exact same layout as in Office 2010, just with a slightly different um, theme to it. Now we still have the um, quick access bar at the top. Uh, we have home, create, external data, database tools and design. Uh, these are basically the same as in uh, Office tw 2010. If we go into the relationships, we can see the, relation the relationships between the tables and such like. We can close that. If we go into the file menu, uh, we now have it says info, and you can see this is much similar to Office 2010 with a few differences. Uh, we can re compact repair database and encrypted password. Click on new, and we can see the screen that we were on before. Open, uh, you can open it from SkyDrive, uh, your computer, or another place. So if we click on add place, we can see Office 365 SharePoint. So you can actually load it from online as well. Uh, we can also go save, save as, close account, which is basically uh, your activation and your online synchronization. And of course, you've got options too. Here we go, so you can choose the uh, office actions. So here, obviously it's all red because that's the Outlook colour. However, if we go into another application, it is a different colour. Okay then, so uh, the next application is Excel 2013. And if we double click on that, we can see it's got a green theme. And that loads just as um, Access did and you can see it's getting featured templates there so here we have a, a different set of things that we can pick from we can pick a blank workbook welcome to Excel and home loan and family tree and things like that you can design within Excel so if we, for example we go to the welcome to Excel tour and it downloads that from the internet and what it does is it basically gives you a little sort of introduction to Excel. So if we click let's go, you can see it just splits between the tables and such like. Obviously, if you've got a new one, a blank workbook, here we obviously see that it's similar to that of Office 2010. Although there is some differences such as animations such as the boxes fly floating around as I'm clicking these different 
cells and if we select more than one you see it takes a second to follow you around which is quite nice but can get a bit annoying it's not lag it is supposed to do that um, but hey that's what Microsoft want to do so obviously in the file menu you can see it's got a green theme uh, whereas access had a red theme got info I can protect workbook, check for issues, manage versions and browser view uh, click new open, save, save as, print share, as you can share a uh, series of app people app on Skydri SkyDrive email it and send an instant message if you're running on the Windows RT with a 3G uh, connector if we go into the account again we can see the synchronization and the activation Okay, so the next app is InfoPath Designer, and you can see this has a purple theme, and we can load templates from SharePoints, emails, blank forms, databases, web service, XML, and such like. So if we go into blank form, we can go into design form. You can see it's pretty fast, and each app has its own color scheme. This has a purpley pink theme. Of course we have the info, publish your th form, submit, design checker, new recent open save save as and publish, that's something else. You can publish it straight to a SharePoint server, uh, email, network location or export the source files. The next app that we'll be looking at is Link. This is a pretty simple app, it loads pretty much instantly and within here we can connect to a link server. Now um, if we show the link that bar, obviously it's um, link 2013 and it's part of Professional Plus as I'm saying. Um, and by doing this, this connects to your link server on your local network. Uh, link is used to collaborate with other clients and staff so that you can have audio and video conversations, chat, share files and such like. Okay then, so the next app we're looking at is OneNote. So if we launch the OneNote, we get a purple theme, once again, and to close the sign-in, and this is basically a notebook, as in all the previous editions of Office, so we can see all places for your notes, um, get organised, and this is like a sample uh, quick note. So obviously you've got your own notebook and you can open other notebooks from other people. Uh, file, we've got the um, info, share, workbook, settings, open, make a new workbook uh, on SkyDrive so it can be synchronised online. Uh, you can export it, you can send it, uh, such like. We also have options on the um, quick strip up here. Insert, draw, history. Draw is quite good if you have a, a tablet as well. Okay, then, so the next app we're going to look at is Outlook. And you can see that we've set up, uh, we haven't even set up an account yet, so it's pretty plain, uh, obviously all your emails would be in your inbox, there's nothing to show there so it's like I said that. If you haven't activated your copy of Office, uh, also comes with a big red banner at the top, uh, telling you to activate it. Uh, we've got the file menu which is blue, we have info, open and export where you can import and export PST files, print um, messages, save them, save attachments and get to your office account from office.com also at the bottom we've got calendar your calendar uh, here we've got people and tasks that we can select so we next have powerpoint uh, up here we can see that this has a orangey red theme and you can see it's loaded lots of templates that we can choose so if we say we want this theme, the parallax 
Okay, we can click um, on there. Choose the colour scheme. We'll leave it as the blue. Create. And if we just type in something here, title. And say we go to the beginning. We can see that it covers the whole screen on a wide screen. This is a 1080p 1920 by 1080 monitor. And it is filling the whole screen, whereas in Office 2010 uh, and, be and below, it only filled the uh, square bit of the middle of it. And you can see this has a orange theme or a red theme. Uh, we have info where we can protect the presentation. And mark as final, encrypt, so it's like, check for issues. And click on new. And we can get a new theme. We can open dial it from SkyDrive again, save, print, share, which is quite good. Um, export it as a PDF or SPS, create a video from it, that's quite handy. And uh, close it. So if we're now going to publisher. This has a horrible green theme. And here it loads all the templates that we can choose from. You can obviously search in the search and live templates, which will get more templates from the web. But for now, we'll just go ahead and create a blank A4 portrait. And so, as you can see, we've got the green theme within Publisher. And if we go into the shapes, we can create. Um, obviously the publisher document that we want. Within file we've got edit business information, run design checker so that will look for things such as white space uh, such like and fonts that may not work on other computers. Um, we can click on new, open directly from SkyDrive again, save, save as print which is quite good, share uh, export and close and there's the account options as well of course we've got the options there which is also gone green now if we go into the SkyDrive app so it says which library do you want to sync we can tell it to save to there for now um, And we can tell it to sync now. Obviously, we need to connect it to our um, SharePoint site, which it wants to do. But we can't do that now. And lastly, we've got Word. This has a blue theme. And you can see we've got different uh, templates again. So if we click on this one, the gift one, we can create that, download it, and we can basically just add that in there. And of course Word is just like um, the normal Word within Office 2010, just with obviously the new design. So if you can go options, open, and just like. So if you're planning on getting Office 2013, there is some good features um, on it, but if I was given the option, really what I'd do is I'd buy Office 2010, even if I did have a Windows 8 machine. Now, uh, there is some good things about Office 2013, the fact that it is new and it is um, supported by Microsoft, as is 2010, but uh, it's got new start experience, new graphical options, especially within MS Word as well. Um, it also supports integration for Skype. And Outlook 2013 supports Outlook.com and Hotmail.com emails that can automatically be imported without the uh, Outlook connector, the Hotmail connector. Uh, those are some features that have been removed, such as the Microsoft Clip Organizer and the Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Um, also, the ability to insert a 3D cone pyramid or cylinder chart within uh, Excel has actually been removed. Um, we do have some uh, MS Access features removed, such as Access Data project Projects or the ADP, which has been removed. Um, 
Also in Outlook, the download headers only mode has been removed. And the Outlook mobile service, MMS, has also been removed. And there is um, a few other things that have changed within Office 2013. So please uh, like, rate, comment and subscribe to this video. Uh, please also go to my forums at uh, www.benstechtips.co.uk where you can discuss Office 2013 so free and um, there's a link below to directly go to the Office 2013 part of the forum. So thanks for watching, as I say please like, rate, comment, subscribe and please join me in the next video.